Listening to MLVC, the Madonna podcast, your place for all things Madonna Louise Veronica Ciccone. I'm your unofficial celebration tour correspondent, Stefan. Tonight on the show, we are joined by a returning guest, DJ Nathan Ashby, who attended both nights of Madonna's celebration tour in Houston, Texas. Welcome back, Nathan. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, you're, you're, she's oh my God. Sorry. <laughs> Dallas, yes. Shame on me. Let's start that again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's live. We can't restart it. <laughs> uh, yes, Dallas, Texas. I was, you know what it was? I was looking at her calendar of dates that she has left and she's got Houston next. So yeah. I have Houston on the brain. That's why. Dallas, Texas. Giddy up. How was it? Uh, it was. So we're just jumping right in. How was it? I mean, amazing. This is my, I, I saw it in Pittsburgh too. So this wasn't my first time seeing it. Not your uh, first time at the rodeo. Okay. So that was your, your first experience at celebration tour. Was that Pittsburgh then? In Pittsburgh. Yeah. So Pittsburgh was originally supposed to be, uh, on August 7th, uh, before the whole reschedule, um, which was going to be my 40th birthday on her 40th anniversary tour. So oh. that was a little disappointing that that got rescheduled, but yeah, so that was the first time I saw it was that rescheduled day. And Nathan, then, real quick, what did you do for your 40th birthday in place of? I still went to Pittsburgh because I have friends there. And so I just went to Pittsburgh and hung out with some friends and, uh, you know, had a kind of chill 40th birthday. So Gotcha. Okay. Well, hey, a lot of people's plans got got a little interrupted because yeah. of Madonna. So you're, you're not the out. only one. It all worked out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so the last two nights were, I mean, amazing. I. I've always had bad luck with seats for shows at, previous to Madame X, and and I am fortunate enough to have spent too much money on very good seats, and <laughs> um, and uh, I mean it was it was amazing, 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 amazing. Did you buy? So you bought these tickets when the original tickets went on sale? Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And where were your tickets both nights? So the first night you were. So in, well, in Pittsburgh, I was, I was on the floor kind of to the side of the main runway, uh, which were actually, I thought those were my bad seats. They were actually really great. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then both of the last two nights were, um, at the very end of the main catwalk, um, night one was like five rows back center. And then last night was two rows back center, which was amazing. But halfway through the show, the two gentlemen who were in front of me, um, and if you're listening, I, I didn't get your names. You, they were some nice British gentlemen. Uh, their friend left, and they let me jump over their seats to be front row with them. Oh, oh, I, so wait, uh, were you talking to Neil? Was that who it was? Because I, I was like, you're somebody, but I can't. I don't Neil, know. So Neil uh, from Madonna Fan Party. He yeah. is. He's been on the show before. Uh, yeah, he's always somehow. Oddly, always has those tickets. And although okay. although Neil says he doesn't work for Madonna's team, he always has those tickets, which I think is strange. Well, yeah, I mean, I, that's I thought he was someone who worked with her, but then I was like, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. But I they, don't know. I mean, look, God bless him for having the luck to always have those tickets. But I just think it's a little circ. It's a little, it's a little sus. Well, we spoke before the show, and I think he thought i mean if that is who it was i think he thought oh this is just a casual fan he's like is this your first time and i was like no this is not my first rodeo um and so he, he i think he had a little respect for me after that and then he was like come on come up here with us oh that's nice who left why did they leave i i I'm, I'm a, i mean i was very engaged in the show but i think there was a, a girl beside them that I, maybe was with them maybe not i don't know but someone left and i got their seat so very yeah. nice well, how how far into the show did she leave um, it was around, it was right before bedtime story, maybe. Okay. Uh, so you've got the yeah, last, kind of the last 15 her. minutes of the yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, well, she should have, she should have left before. Don't tell me then that way you could have been well, or, or yeah. Vogue even. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were still great. I mean, I was one row back, so they were still great seats. I can't complain. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. You're right there. Um, okay. So 
let me see. It was a drag queen for the Vogue Ballroom the first night of. of so night one was Alyssa Edwards from Drag Race, and okay. she's had a couple of reality shows. And she actually, before the show started, I was standing and I heard a bunch of hollering behind me. Hollering, I sound like I am from Texas. Um, behind me um, at the mixing board, and I turn around, and it's Alyssa Edwards with a huge headdress, like a glitter headpiece on just waving and like hanging out at the, at the booth. And she stood there for like 20 minutes taking pictures with people. That's so nice. it was clear that that's who was going to be. the sure. judge. And then last night was, um, Erica Badu, uh, yes. who, um, was wearing a very interesting outfit. Um, it had like some big shoulder, a big shoulder moment and, um, like a cape in the back. That yeah. It was, I was like, that looks like it would have been dangerous to climb up those stairs. Well, when she sat down, it was, when she sat down, you could tell it didn't quite work. The, the outfit didn't quite work with the seat. And so halfway through, she tried to take it off, but underneath was, um, not much. So we saw a lot of Erica Badu's, uh, back. Let me just you saw that. a lot of Erica Badu's Badu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and were her and Madonna having fun? Yeah, yeah, it was it was great. They they were great. Uh, Alyssa Edwards was a little more into it because she's like a little showgirl, but uh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, it was it was. That's it was I know. And when I saw that Erica Badu was up on stage with Madonna again, and I I know people are always like Stefan, just give it up. But I was like, oh, I wonder if that collaboration that we all thought might have happened is actually happening. You oh, know, I've like, never heard of this. Is this from the 90s? Well, so there was that whole, I mean, I, and I, I think I'm probably the only one keeping it alive at this point, but I swear that Madonna has been working on new music and all of oh. these people that she was seen with in the last like two years leading Katie up Perry. to the tour, right? Katy Perry, which pop leaks tweeted about no, again, nobody, People are like pop leaks. Why? Why are you believing them? It's just they literally throw things at the wall and see what sticks. But as we all know, Madonna was seen leaving a recording studio with Katy Perry the day before she ended up in the hospital. Yeah. Katy Perry has a new album that's coming out very soon this spring, apparently. So it only makes sense that Madonna and Katy Perry have a collaboration. Madonna was also seen with Erica Badu. I think it was at a fashion show at some point. And this was around the time when she was also seen in like lots of recording studios. And I, we were just like, Ooh, wouldn't that be great if Madonna and Erica Badu had a collab? Yeah. So the fact that Erica was up on stage with her again, I was like, I don't know. I mean, it makes sense that she might have some stuff in the vault, but like Beyonce's album that's coming out they said she made it like three years ago and it's just been hanging out and waiting to be released. So yeah. I still wonder if Beyonce is popping up at a Texas show. Well, Houston, is that next? Cause that's her hometown, right? Yeah. Yep. And I wonder if that would be like the next, you know, like, well, I'm, I'm wondering on the timing, when is cowboy Carter supposed to come out? Is it this weekend? Exactly. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, wouldn't it, so Madonna's in Houston. I'm looking at the Madonna's in Houston Thursday and Friday. If Cowboy Carter is meant to come out, wouldn't that just be really great promo to have? Because yeah. we all thought that they were supposed to cross pollinate when Beyonce was when the original run of Madonna's show. It was supposed to be Beyonce's show was in Texas at this mm -hmm. one night, and Madonna was the next night. And I was like, I bet you they're both popping up at each other's show. Of course, Madonna wasn't able to join Beyonce for Renaissance. However, I still think Beyonce might pop up yeah, for Madonna. Yeah, I work in marketing. I would pitch that. That sounds exactly great. like it. Just seems like it's a no. -brain. And now that she's got this Cowboy Carter album coming out, not that Beyonce needs the, the publicity. Help. You know, like it's just not like Madonna's going to help Beyonce's publicity in any way. Like Beyonce gets enough of that herself. But it would be a great way to promo something. Yeah. Yeah. And who knows? I I I I I wait with bated breath. I think it'll be fun to see what happens. Um, anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, what did you think of the the shows having seen from Pittsburgh to now? Did you see any differences? Did you? I, I feel like as she's been going, it's just been getting better and better. Well, I mean, as far as like the, 
I, I feel like I want to see it again now, like further back, but I, and I keep hearing that from people. People want to see it. I feel like the widescreen view of the stage, like further back is actually probably the best view to take it all in. I mean, you don't get like, you know, you don't lock eyes with her and get all those like really great, like memories like that. But as far as the production and the scale of the show, I think seeing it further back is probably the best vantage point further back center straight on. Um, uh, but yeah, I, 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 it, it's, it was so good. It's, and it's such a good, uh, like a, a, a tribute to like a, to the fans, like all mm-hmm. of the songs we've been wanting for so long, like that she's been like very mischievously holding back. Like it's, it's just been great. Yeah. yeah. What were some of your favorite parts? Um, I mean, open your heart. I had, I don't think I had ever heard live. So that was a big moment for me. I mean, uh, all of the erotica section, I mean, she did like, what, four songs from erotica, which is my favorite album, Bad Girl, n- none of us had ever heard live, um, unless you were at, S- did she perform at SNL once, maybe? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so that was like a great moment. I do feel, I mean, if, if I do have a criticism and if I do want to like creative direct it in my head, I do feel <laughs> sure. like the first half is a lot stronger than the second half. I feel like it's sort of, loses its energy a little bit and it has a um and i've also heard from a lot of people that the ending is a little is that the end Mm -hmm. i I almost wish that um the end like the screen said something like to be continued or like something like we're not doing a big finale because it's not over you know right 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 um uh so if i do have a criticism that that's it that it it sort of tuckers out towards the end for me Mm -hmm. well i also think it's some of the songs that she's doing are a bit, I don't know. Yeah. I I get, I I know what you mean though, because I felt, I sort of feel the same way. Like from the moment, nothing really matters. I think it's until, uh, I want to say almost like the beast within mix, you know, like from beast within on, but, but then again, I also love die another day. So I don't know. It's, it's I mean, these are very like minute criticisms that I have. Like, I mean, but, um, yeah, I, I feel like um, the the first section, the first section or two, are very have a very clear directive, and they're going in a, in one way, and then the end there's a flow. Yeah, there's the end gets a little muddier. So, uh, but well, that, yeah, I think exactly like look, I I love the tour, and I think it's amazing, and I'm so glad that we we have this. I if I was to cherry pick, and like if people were like, if Madonna called me up and was like, what do you think? Yes. <laughs> what, what would you change? I, it would be the last half of the show. I think from the, I, and I don't know where, but yeah, it, it sort of feels a little bit more like there's just songs as opposed to there's, there's less of an arc to it. Right. Yeah. I guess. You should do a marketing panel with us fans. And, <laughs> no. you imagine? Right. Like, I mean, you know how Taylor Swift does like a listening party with hardcore fans before she releases an album? Not yeah. that the, the fans are there to sort of like help Taylor Swift change the album at that point, but like, yeah, I'd love to be, what is it called when they have the, the like a marketing, uh, a focus group? I'd love yeah. to be like a Madonna focus group. And, you know, just like we all sit in there, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And we just give like feedback. It doesn't even have to be to her. It could just be to like Guy O'Siri or somebody. Oh, no, I would want her in the room with like a clipboard. And... <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? She wouldn't have any of it. She'd be like, what do you mean you don't like this? Get out. You know, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she'd hate it. We'd, we'd yeah. you know, we'd we'd be banned for life or something. Speaking of hating it, she did say night one that she was in a bad mood, which the person behind me was like, "I love when she's in a bad mood." Um, I think why? Maybe, did she say why she was in a bad mood? Well, she didn't say specifically, but then she kind of went into a. It was during the part where she, uh, before she sings "Express Yourself," where she's sort of talking to the audience, um, and I, she mentioned something about David turning eighteen and the, them having a little bit of some fighting. And it's, uh, so I assume that's what it was. Oh, Both goodness. nights, her, her speeches were about her children, um, which I'm not sure if they have been like that for every stop. So I'm assuming maybe there's some, you know, some growing pains happening. Interesting. Well, I mean, nobody's perfect, right? I mean, yeah. but night, night two, she was definitely in a better mood. And there were some, there were some miscues night one, like some songs that started a little late, but, uh, well, but I mean, that's the thing, like, 
there was a like five nights between. Yeah. Uh, she had to get back in the groove a little da- bit. Exactly. The, between Dallas and whatever the show was before that, like there was like a good chunk of time between. So uh, she's, will, she, she was off her rhythm, I guess. Yeah. I will say, uh, uh, take a bow, which I was, I was like, I was so excited to hear rain cause I'd never heard it live, which I did hear in Pittsburgh. Uh, and then when I heard that she was starting to replace it with Take a Bow, I wasn't as excited. Well, night one, she sounded amazing. Uh, and I've seen some videos where I was like, eh, I don't know, uh, but sounded great night one. So not night two, N- not, not bad night two, but def- night one was like, I was like, wow, I kind of like that more than rain. And I didn't expect it. Oh, so, interesting. Oh, good. Nice, yeah. Yeah. Nice, I, uh, I mean, hey, at least we know she's singing live. Yeah. And yeah. she was talking a lot about mother and father, about how no one in the crowd knows the song. Both, both nights she mentioned that. No one in the crowd knows the song, mother and father. Um, but I also thought that was a great moment. Were, were people singing that song? Did you hear, were you able to hear people singing mother and father? People around me were, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I would hope so. I mean, you're, if you're smack in the middle of that catwalk. Yeah. But that was another one that um, she always does this to me. It's like I, I see a set list and I'm like, ah, why does she do that song instead of this song? But then... The song I don't want is the one I actually end up liking the most. And I thought mm-hmm. Mother Father is like a really sweet moment. I Well, it's funny you say that because I sort of felt the same when I was when I knew that Mother and Father was on the set list. I was like, oh, I mean, like, I love Mother and Father. Don't get me wrong. Like, that's what I like. I think that's a standout from um, the American Life album. But I, I was like, out of all the songs you're going to put on this tour, why are you putting that one on the tour? You know, like, why not put something that everyone would know? You know what I mean? Like, we get a couple bars of Papa don't preach, but you put an entire song of mother and father on there. Like, you know, you, you cut a little bit of, it's just a little bit of crazy for you or a little bit of human nature, but yet we get the entire version of mother and father. And I just, but then you hear it and I was like, okay. And I'm belting it out, singing, screaming it with her, you know? Yeah. I want a version of it with David singing it. Like I want. Oh, that. Did he not sing it? No, he does. But I want like a released version. Of oh, with him. Like well, he, I guess when we get the live album, which I assume is coming, we'll get that. You know. Yeah, for sure. Which is so funny because I remember he was. I don't think he did it the first couple shows that I had seen, no. and so when I had seen it again, and it like took me off guard. I was like, "What? Who's singing? Who is that?" And I was like, "Oh, it's David." Yeah, yeah, he sounds great. So he, he does, has, yeah. He has star quality. Like, mm-hmm. look out for him. I know. I have. I have no idea what he's going to do, but it'll be interesting to see. Oh, all of them. Oh like, yeah. Mercy could be like a concert pianist for the rest of her life. I mean, did you see that Lola was performing in New Orleans? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram, and I saw um, I'm not, the show that she she posted something about it, but. I'm not Somebody, very well, a listener was like, I wish I would have known I would have gone because they were, they're in New Orleans. And I was like, she ain't going to publicize that publicly. She don't sure. want, because you know, if she did, every Madonna fan would be flocking. She doesn't want that audience. You know, like she wants it to be uh, uh, her peers, not, not us. So is she now the only child to not like do, do a performance in a tour with Madonna? Because Rocco... Who was like the DJ and Sticky and Sweet and did some dancing? No, right? not Sticky and Sweet. MDNA. Okay, MDNA. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she's uh, not- well, but Lola worked on that show. She was costumes. I mean, I don't think she's. So I don't think Lola's ever been on stage at a tour. She's worked for a tour, but I guess, I mean, Lola was in the celebration video. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, and yeah, celebrate. Oh no, 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 no. All right, so. We will count the fact that she was a flower girl for the VMAs. Right, yeah, yeah. I guess that's that's as close to yeah. She's never been one of the dancers on yeah. on tour, like. But yeah, all, I guess all the rest of them have. Yeah, I guess she's carving her own path, right? Eldest child syndrome wants doesn't want to do what the rest of them are going to do, you know. <laughs> um, what was the crowd like in in uh, in Texas? Were they like were they up? Were they were they loving it? Crowds were great. Night one, they did have on the screens, like text a number to be moved to the pit. So maybe the sales for that weren't as good as they wanted. So they were moving. They, they do that at every show. It's just, a, it's a way. To get, yeah. yeah. 
they're just trying to get some data from us. And as much as I've done it, I've never, I've never won. I've um, but yeah, the crowds were great both nights. Um, it looked sold out and, uh, yeah. The, uh, and you know what I love about going to a Madonna concert is that you, I don't know if it's the same with you, but I, and I don't do this at other concerts. I meet everyone around me mm-hmm. and like, mm-hmm. I kind of become friends and buddies for like two or three hours with the people around me. Um, uh, the w- woman beside me during, uh, live to tell was like weeping. Oh. I kind of put my hand over and like, like, uh, and then at, after the show we hugged and she was like, where are we going after? And I'm like, I'm going to my hotel room. To go <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I love that, uh, at a Madonna concert, you kind of become f- friends for a moment with a bunch of sure. People. Yeah. Oh, that's how it is with you guys with every, anyone else, but that's how it is with me. Like, I've I've always made yeah I mean I always if I'm there without a friend you know like if I'm sitting by myself but I know people in the audience like I'll befriend people that are and some of them are receptive and some of them are not I like I think at the Brooklyn show there were three or four guys on the right of me that were there and literally the moment Bob came out they like popped a gummy and were drinking beers and I was like I'm gonna let them have their little journey and oh. then there was two lesbians on the left of me and they were sort of like having their like wife couple moment. So I like, I was like, that's fine. Uh, I don't need to be BFFs with, with everyone around me, but cause I was busy just living for the tour anyway. So yeah. Did you get any merch? Um, I did. I got the, um, well, I had bought online, uh, the, the water cup, the true blue watercolor shirt. Uh-huh. Um, but I bought, a size up thinking that like once I wash it a couple of times, it'll get small. It did not. It was, it's like a dress on me now. So I've, I've rebought it in the right size. So I have two oh, of them. Uh, and then I bought, Oh, I have it right here. Uh, the reinvention tour. Or no, the hoodie. Oh yes. The purple, the purple Madonna. Very, very overpriced. I'm, I'm paying for those kids college with this. Seriously. Merch. You are. Um, but uh Yeah. So, I know. I actually, I lo- is it is is it a really super thick hoodie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Because yeah. I have like I have the Madame X hoodie, and it is literally the heaviest hoodie I've ever owned. Is it the white one with the blue? No, it's it's a black with the red M X, okay. and yeah, it's, yeah, it's very good hoodie, but it's just like it's not one of those like oh, I'm I'm at the beach. It's a summer evening, and it's no. getting a little chilly. I'm just gonna throw on a light hoodie. No, 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 no. This is like. It's like 30 degrees outside snowmageddon and I need to brave the, the cold as I'm going to the grocery store to get sustenance put on that hoodie. Well, I noticed that the the dates on the sleeve are the, the original scheduled. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's just they have leftover hoodies that they're trying to unload. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I'm waiting for that to go on sale on the website and then I'll snatch that up. I know. I, I, I If I knew how to handle my finances. I, sh- I would have done that. <laughs> um, well, I, I, to talk about finances, I bought one of the uh, celebration tour rosaries. Oh gosh. Yeah. Um, and if anyone would like to buy it, it's currently on eBay. I'm, I've marked it up though, because apparently they're, they're going for hundreds of dollars. And so I'm jumping on the bandwagon. So uh, if anyone wants a Toronto silver celebration tour, it's on, it's on eBay. Um, Price might drop, but not much. Those went really fast online. That's so. why they're all on sale on eBay because everyone's yeah. like, "I'm going to make money." But <laughs> hey, and it's you know, it is what it is. Um, oh, I was going to say, I have. Um, I don't know if you can see what I'm wearing. This is uh, Michael Cooper, uh, a friend of the podcast, got me my very first Madonna parking lot t-shirt so okay. for those at home who are who aren't watching it's kind of like a baseball jersey t-shirt but it's got madonna smoking from the justify my love photo shoot on the front um it's a parking lot t-shirt it's a little snug i probably would never wear it outside because you can't you don't want to see from below the waist on me nathan it's it's not a oh, i don't shit. have i don't have summer abs so it's it, <laughs> but it's actually it's 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 cozy it, it hugs the pecs which is nice you know yeah, got. A, I've never owned a parking lot T-shirt, so it's kind of fun to have one. From, and it does have like celebration on the back. Um, I don't even know. I can't even read if it's the dates, but um, yeah. So, are you are you exhausted from your Madonna marathon? You went both nights back to back, right? Yeah, and I was telling you, I literally just flew in like an hour and a half ago back to Memphis, and so I feel like I've been awake since like Friday. When what is what day are we on? Is it Tuesday? <laughs> Tuesday. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so I I am excited for a full night's sleep tonight because um, I have not had a full night's sleep in a few days. So. Mm-hmm. Were there after parties that you went to in not Texas? after? Well, actually, in in I didn't go to any of these, but um, in Dallas this weekend was Texas Bear Roundup, oh. um, which is like a big gay bear party weekend. Um, so there were my hotel was full of bears and Madonna fans and some of crossover too. So that's hysterical. I bet you saw some wild, crazy looks. Yes. Uh, but you probably I mean, were like some of them. You're probably like, I wonder if that's Madonna or if that's bear weekend. I can't tell. I mean, I think again, I think there were, there was a lot of crossover happening, but, uh, mm. I mean, it was, it was great. The, the city was a buzz. Yeah, that. I'm sure people were like, they would go to the Madonna concert and then they'd go to bear evening afterwards. And yeah. But no, I mean, I, I went out bef- the night before the first show and, and that was probably a mistake because then I was really tired going into the first show. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I'm feeling every bit of my age right now. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, know how she, I don't know how Madonna does it every, I mean, every night she's a year older than my mother and I don't know how. I couldn't imagine my mother doing that every night. So. I mean, obviously she's trained for it, you know, like she has for trainers sure, yeah. and she's got, I assume she's probably got some like, cr- like a cryo booth that she goes and like helps with her joints. And, you know, I'm sure she's got medicines and vitamins and IV drips and, you know, all that good stuff. I would hope. I mean, so- yeah. We've we paid enough money for the tickets and the merchandise. I, I hope it's going for something. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> so no more celebration for you then? This That was it? Really? I mean, I, I, I was considering Miami, but I think my husband would divorce me if I spent any more man, money on Madonna right now. <laughs> um, so I would like to stay married. It's funny how often I hear that from people who are married or in long-term relationships. They're always like, I've been cut off. My partner has said no more. And I'm like, no wonder I keep just rampantly attending shows and buying merch is because I don't have anybody patting me on the shoulder being like Stefan no you're done this is it it's over <laughs> yeah i mean i would and i would, i mean I'd, I'd really love to do rio that she just announced but... oh yeah let's talk about that so everyone should know madonna is now officially the last night of the celebration tour will be a free concert being held in rio in brazil uh it's going to be on the beach apparently it's going to be the largest attendance for Madonna's career, over 1 million people, I think. I've even heard, like, upwards of 2 million people. I don't even know how that's possible. Like, how would you... They? I hope for the people on the beach that are going that there's going to be screens set up all along the beach. So at least, like... Because, you know, the people all the way in the back are never going to be able to see her on stage, so... Have you seen the... the I saw someone posted... Uh, a photo of, I guess the Rolling Stones did a, a similar concert there. Mm. Um, and it, it was exactly as you described. There were screens like sort of staggered. Yeah. Down there'd the, have to be, but it looked, have to be. it looked insane. There were, it was like a sea of ants, like, like in, insane. I, yeah. I, I went to do it, but I don't know that, that kind of crowd. I don't know if I would, I'm, I'm too old. <laughs> no, I, I went to Woodstock 99 and that was like 650,000 people. And that was enough for me. Like uh, the experience was, it wasn't scary per se. I think there was one moment when we were walking to the stage and I was sort of surrounded and I just saw nothing but human bodies around me. And it was like, if I thought too hard, I'd be like, okay, this is a little freaky. But um, yeah, I, after Woodstock 99, I was like, okay, I've done this big festival circuit. I don't need to do it again. So, is that I'll, the infamous one that was like very the muddy? One that, the one that burned down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we wow. thankfully, it started to rain that, that last Sunday. And so uh, my friends and I were like, eh, we, we don't need to stay because we were hungry, filthy, and just tired. And exhausted. So we were like, we've been here for three days. We don't need to stay for the chili peppers. And so we left. And thankfully we did because yeah. I can only imagine the scene. I mean, I I was a little annoyed that I didn't stay to get some free merch that they were throwing out of the trucks after the riots started. But other than that, <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I think it'll be, I mean, everyone from Brazil looks ecstatic and excited and it's going to be the largest dance floor in the world. I mean, that's amazing. How do you even get tickets? I don't, I'm not, I didn't. So tickets are, it's free to the general public. You literally just rock up. I don't know how they're going to police. Like, are people going to be starting to camp out? Like, weeks in advance like i could see people camping out on the beach i mean i'm assuming they won't let that happen but yeah it'll be curious to see how that goes down they're broadcasting it on some sort of brazilian tv show uh or tv channel but i think vpn is going to be able to like if you have a vpn you'll be able to get it i saw i'll i'll be watching on the comfort of my own sofa same same so and I'm sure that there's going to be video all over the place. And yeah. um, I, I think most I'm most curious to see is like, how are they going to recreate her stage? With all the lifts and the... No. I mean, how do they do live to tell or, or a ray of light where you're flying around the... Like, I mean, I'm, sh- I'm assuming the bank has, the bank that's sponsoring this has paid a pretty penny and yeah. that they are going to do it up right but it's still like it's on the beach you know if it's windy or right like i mean she's been doing this indoors the entire time there's wind with when she's flying if she's flying around in that box during live to tell and there's a strong beach wind like uh, uh, i don't know Uh, i I am i'm fascinated to see how this goes down am i the only one who kind of like holds your breath when she does get in that box every night. And, and like, I'm like, like, don't, don't do anything. I don't know. Are you a ner- nervous flyer? No, I'm not. I not for me, but for other people, maybe. I mean, oh, okay. Cause I was gonna say, I'm a nervous flyer yet. For some reason, when she goes up in that box, I'm just like, good for her. <laughs> you know, like I, I, for some reason, like put me on a plane. I'm like, <laughs> but Madonna getting up in that box. I'm just like, you go Madonna. Yeah. I mean, there was a moment in one of the nights that maybe during ray of light where she was right above me. And I was like, well, if, if this thing falls on me, uh-huh. be kind of that like, I did think about, I was like, Oh, I'd die if this thing fell on. But me. Wouldn't it be like, sort of like the ultimate death to be poetic like, justice. Madonna, Madonna fell on you and you died. <laughs> Madonna right. survives. She attends yeah. your funeral. You're looking down from heaven, like bad girl, like in the bad girl video, you're sitting next to Christopher walk and smoking cigarettes, looking down like, Oh, look, Madonna attended my funeral. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know that for some reason that box like freaks me out when I see her. Get I mean, out. look, that's, that's, I'm sure there's like a safety protocol. Like, I'm sure there's a whole system that I don't know about, but it yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be it'll be fun to sort of see what they do with Brazil. I mean, again, I, I, because I love to fantasize about what Madonna's do, going to do. Like, w- will she premiere a new song of some sort at the Rio? I mean, I know Madonna enough, well enough by now to know she's not going to do that because that's what I would want her to do. So she's not going to do that. But I think it would be a fantastic idea yeah. to premiere a brand new song and it'll be the song of the summer and we'll all love it. And it'll be amazing. Thank you, Madonna. Yeah. But she rarely does what we want her to do. So. Exactly. So I, again, it's just a pipe dream. I'll just go to sleep and dream that she premieres a new song at, at, <laughs> in Brazil. Um, I think just the concert alone is good enough for her. You know, she's like, look, I'm coming to Brazil. I mean, it's crazy to think that they're dragging all that equipment yeah. All the whole entourage for one night. Like you'd think that she'd go for at least do like a couple, couple nights, just a couple shows. Nope. Just one, one. I mean, Hey, that's a great send off for the show and the tour. And I think that'll be, I mean, I guess you figure it's a million plus people that are going to be there. So it's a lot of eyeballs. On, yeah. 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 So it's, that's, that's a pretty historic way to, to end the the tour. So yeah, counting down, I think there's like 15, 15 more shows left to do now with that, which is crazy. It's crazy to think that for months and months, all we could do was wait and wait and wait for this show to end. And now here we are, 15 shows left, and then it's it's over. On the flash, yeah. It's been yeah, crazy. Yeah. 
Uh, all right. Well, Nathan, I will let you go because I know you're tired and you have to go to sleep. And since we talked about it in uh, before we went live, I won't do a lightning round with you because apparently we've already done one with you, even though it was so long ago. I don't even remember doing it with you. <laughs> you can remember. <laughs> um but remember, everybody, you can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at MLVC Podcast. If you'd like to donate to the show, we're on Venmo at MLVC Podcast or smash that super thanks button on YouTube. You can donate that way. If you've not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, tick that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Like I said, if you'd like to buy a Celebration Tour rosary, you can find my listing on eBay. <laughs> uh, until next time, everybody, check out uh dj nathan on instagram he's are you still are you still mixing are you still doing here and there you know i'm i'm uh, like i said i'm getting older so here and there uh but yeah instagram at dj nathan ashby ashby is on instagram don't worry we'll be throwing yeah i want you to remix madonna forever so yes yeah, send me those stems so i know i got i got you like the song though right yeah it's yeah, yeah. good yeah it's good yeah. all right everybody nathan stay where you are until next time <laughs>